Way number 18 on how to pass the physics regions. Questions regarding the magnitude of gravitational force come up on every single exam and sometimes even more than once. And despite this crazy looking formula, there is one relationship that you absolutely positively want to be familiar with. The magnitude of gravitational force has an inverse square relationship with distance. This relationship even holds true for electrostatic forces. Do you see any similarities? And that's why you should already know the answer to this question before it even has a chance to finish coming onto the screen. If you pick choice one, you'd be correct. Now here's a hypothetical example of the relationship that exists between the gravitational force and radius using really easy numbers. When the radius is two, the magnitude of the gravitational force will also be 2. But when the radius is doubled, the magnitude of the gravitational force is reduced by 4 times as much thanks to the inverse square relationship. And the opposite is true as well, like in this question from the June 2009 physics regions. When Earth and Moon are separated by a distance of 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meters, the magnitude of the gravitational force of attraction between them is 2 times 10 to the 20 newtons. What would be the magnitude of this gravitational force of attraction if Earth and the Moon were separated by a distance of 1.92 times 10 to the 8 meters? Since the radius was cut in half, the magnitude of the gravitational force will need to be four times as much, and it is. Now here's another question from the same exact regions that is pretty much asking about the same relationship, and it might even look like something else you've seen before. It starts off with a distance of one meter, but then the distance between the spheres is increased to three meters, or three times as much. And thanks again to the inverse square relationship, both Fg and Fe will be reduced by 9 times as much. Now if you found that video helpful, please like it or give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the other videos that I upload. And finally, get the free study guide for 70 ways to pass the physics regions by heading over to physicsvideotutor.com.